Hang in, hello, Let's Play fans. It's your old pal Berg787, back with a brand new episode of Darkest Dungeon. Now, uh, what I wanted to do originally in this episode was this. I wanted to go and fight the inchoate flesh. And then when I went to put a party together, or at least thinking about who I was going to use, it dawned on me that I don't really have <laughs> the available troops to go and fight whatever that is. I've never fought it with who I'd want to, but, you know, with a team that I would normally take to the Warren. So slightly problematic i've basically got too many higher level well level threes or above and obviously level threes won't go on apprentice dungeons anymore so i'm gonna i decided to do it anyway <laughs> basically um i'm gonna take two highwaymen i'm gonna take kuji and i'm gonna take the man at arms and uh hope for the best <laughs> basically uh i mean i could take a bounty hunter, but I don't really want to take a bounty hunter like Corsu Mate without uh, an occultist, and I don't really have an occultist. I would have actually got rid of Roger. I am thinking of getting rid of Roger, just because he's the worst of the three, to be honest. You look at the skills, he's the worst of the three. Um, I, he hasn't been upgraded fully to how, where he could be, in a sense, in terms of his skills, so... It's the cheapest, in a sense, loss to get rid of as well. Uh, and I would have got rid of him right now, but I don't have another occultist I check to go and find. So, Roger's basically... I mean, I could just boot him out anyway, actually. Why not just get rid of him? Uh, why flap around? So, let's just get rid of Roger, and then when we get another occultist, we'll bring one in. Um, but, yeah, okay, so this is basically what our plan is. I know uh, Bluett is uh, fairly stressed, which isn't great, but... Well... Hmm. I was that that clumsy trait? Uh, but, you know, I don't really have too much of op too many options. And it's like, well, fuck it. Let's just go and do it. I mean, I could wait around. That is true. I could try and, like, train up some other guys to be ready to fight. But I don't really want to do that. So we shall just beef up his abilities here. Bello, is that something that we've been using? I can't even remember now. Uh, 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 I don't know if we have. Let me just double check. No, I didn't think we had. All right, it's fine. So defender, rampant, and crush. Superb. All right. Um, who else did we say is coming? The two of our um, lank tots all beefed up. I know that Dunsk. Uh, all right, we're, we're going to kind of need to sacrifice point blank shot. I think on both of them for the grape shot blast because I don't think either of them are really going to be at the front very often. So we shall do that. The grape shot blast, the pistol shot, and the wicked slice. Let me just check if Blank Tot has the... Um, oh, he's already up to date on all of that anyway. That's fine. And who was the other person? Kuji. Kuji. Kuji, Kuji, Kuji. Uh, Mace Bow. All right, it's the top four here. We know that. Excellent. Okay. Now, some of them are going to need some better armor. Kuji. Hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Kuji, you take all that. Uh, Mr. Man at Arms, you can get better armor as well. I, don't, I feel like we might be completely underprepared to go and fight him. But, again... What else am I going to do? Wait around? I mean, I could do other stuff with my higher level people, but I need to beat this prick so then I can get send my higher versions to fight the harder version of him. I just need to put to the survivalist camp as well, because I know some of these haven't actually had these uh, tapped around. Dunsk, I don't think has. Yep. Okay. So, we can give him that. That's fine. And then we uh, remove that. Give him that. Well, actually, I could have kept that. Oh, no, I like cleaning guns as well with these guys. So, yep, there we go. So, give yourself cleaning guns as well. And uh, man-at-arms, I don't think we've fiddled around. I don't even know what kind of things you've got. I mean, everyone's got these two, which we'll instantly buy. But what else have you got? Plus more to your dodge. All companions plus 10 dodge. That's pretty good. One companion. Wow, ah, that's pretty awesome as well. Alright, I mean, I like those as well, but I'm just running a bit low on money. <laughs> so, so, I think we're going to have to go with these four. But I do like them. I will look to get them in the future. Uh, so, da, 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 um, yeah, as, these two are really good. Just uh, got have a shit to spend my money on at the moment. Uh, and that's it, yeah? That is it, I think. Yeah, they're the only two. Well, actually, I don't know. Did, did, no, didn't, no, no, Kuji, that's it. Kuji's going to need to... Have a little fiddle around, so we'll give her these two, or one companion, that's pretty good. Yeah, that religious thing. That's not that bad, actually. Yeah, that's pretty good, actually, the chant. I should get that as well. Uh, 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 uh. 
Prey's pretty good as well. Actually, they actually got some really good ones, the Vestrals. Uh, let's swap that. Bless. Yeah, bless, alright. Prey, you never know. Yeah, fuck Prey. I'll give you that in case we get a little perk. In case we get a chance to up, beast up everyone. Alright, let's finally embark, shall we? And go on, hopefully not get absolutely whooped. So you come here. You come here. Oh, actually, that quickly. Yep, get rid of that point blank shot. That would have been a bit of a disaster, wouldn't it? Same with you. Get rid of the point blank shot because we're not really having you in the front row today. Kuji. And the great man at arms. All right. Now, as I said, we're down to 13,000. I don't know where the hell all my money's gone. Um, but anyway, all right. Well, I can tell you where my money's gone. When I, done those, when I did that short veteran dungeon and spent like fucking 20 grand on supplies thinking it was a long one. That's, uh, that's the kind of place where my money goes. Uh, it's only a medium dungeon. Let's take two shovels. Uh, I kind of want to take some anti-venom. But I think I'll just wing it. Take two skeleton keys. We'll take eight torches and we shall pray to the gods. Is this what we're going to be fighting? What is it like? A pile of dead bodies that kind of fuse together? That's what it seems like. Alright, let's check out the dungeon. Eh, not too bad. So, in theory, if I just go straight across, hit that room, then come back and then go like that, I'll avoid really many major backtracking. So we'll do that. Come now, where is everyone? Oh, go on, have a little read. Go on. Not that we're in the middle of a quest or anything like that. Ooh, okay, that's kind of good. I swear these are always negative. Ruins explorer for Dunsk, eh? Shame we're not in the ruins, but... Hey, and you'll very rarely go to the ruins because... Uh, you can't bleed anyone there. But if we ever need to send you there, it's kind of handy. Ooh, good, and a surprise on these fat bastards as well. Alright, uh, let's start bleeding, shall we? Should we bleed old fatty Bumbleaddy? I kind of don't like either of these two either here, but he's got that multiple whip that can bleed everyone, so let's just try and get rid of him first. Come on, bleed. Yeah, good start. That's two damage. I don't really want to do the, re the, the thing where he calls on all the damage to himself just yet, so we'll just start pounding. Seven, that's fine. Uh, you, we could try and stun him, I suppose. Don't really have much else. Um, yeah, why don't we try it? No, actually, probably be better off to try and stun... Someone who could be a little bit more annoying, like... Like you. Oh, I can't, actually, because you're so fat, I can only hit you. Alright, what a critical. Good times. Good times. Didn't quite stun him, though, but what's that got him down to? Nine. Alright, we should... I feel like we should be able to finish him off. In fact, if I did a Grape Shot Blast here... Ah, uh, see, I would need to do... Actually, I'd, I couldn't kill him off if I did the Grape Shot Blast. So I'm going to have to go with the Open Vein to kind of be on the safe side. So we'll do that. Killed him outright, but at least we got rid of Fatty Bumbleaddy. He's definitely annoying. Uh, these two are both annoying, but if he had gone first and this guy's at the front, he's basically irrelevant with his rushed shot. But unfortunately, that is not the case. I suppose I could do a bit of retribution. But I think not. Let's just try and beat up this guy. Oh! Almost finished him off. That was unlo- Ah, oh, good. We are actually going to be able to finish him off. So good. And he'll be at the front then and life will be easy. Good times, party. Well done. Haven't even had an attack on us yet. Bleed. Yeah, it's not quite though. He only does two bleed damage. So he got left with one. But the rush shot shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, I was going to say he misses invariably most of the time. It is the, the rare occasion where I'm like, yeah, rush shot. And then they do a critical and it's like, you look like an idiot. But... It, 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 it's few and far between. Usually, there, there, there's definitely more misses full stop by that than uh, any kind of damage that it does. All right, cool. So some holy water and some gold. Good times. All right, so first corridor, pretty successfully navigated actually, because that that could have been a tricky fight. I mean, it was handy that we surprised them. That always gives you an edge. But um, I wasn't necessarily expecting to take them without taking any damage. Um, anyway, on to the next room. This isn't the boss, right? This is just uh, a battle room. 
What have we got in here? Actually, it wouldn't only care if I fight the boss straight away. At this stage, probably best to fight him. Or it, whatever it is. Uh, I kind of want that. Light up just a little bit. Let's not dick around. It's a boss fight and we're not using characters who we... Oh, is that it? Why was that room so scary looking? Gotta fight these pricks? It's like, come on, man. Oh, really? Really, you got left with one bit of health? You lucky bastard. Well, at least you didn't poison me. I could do a grape shot blast. That'll at least kill him. There we go. And it's the spitters, as always, that you want to get rid of. The webbers. Who cares? Um, okay, that's a bit nasty. But it's only one damage, so we'll survive. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, again, anyone, if they do a critical, they look bad, boy. But on the whole, as I said, just get rid of the spitters. And the rest will take care of itself. These two, um, you, you, I could probably go away, let, like put some sort of auto fight where I was constantly skipping my turns and go to the shop for an hour and they still wouldn't have finished me off if it was just two Webbers. Unfortunately, I can't quite hit the spitter at the back and I do want to kind of finish him off. Mm, is there, what, a 50-50 chance of finishing him off if I do hit? Ah, oh, Grape Shot Blast. Grape Shot Blast probably would kill the two of them. All right, we'll do that. There we go. Didn't quite finish off the Weber, but again, it was a 50-50 chance even if I hit on Weber, I was going to kill him with the shot anyway. So I thought this was the best option. And we'll do a bit of judgment on a heal on ourselves and kill him. All right, I'm very pleased. with the. First, I mean, that fight was easy, but but um, party's looking good so far. They're doing exactly how they're meant to work, what, what, what I envisage, which is always nice. Always makes me look a bit smarter when I can tell you what I, feel, what I want to do, why I want to do it, and it actually works. <laughs> which isn't always, but... Hey ho. Uh, there we go. We'll take two more busts. Good times. Got to just keep an eye on that uh, stress level. Oh, more spiders. All right, this is great. Just keep throwing spiders at me. Uh, I might. Uh, I mean. The problem is, I can't just slice him up from the back, which is a. Which is a shame. So maybe the Grape Shot Blast is the better way to go. Yeah, I don't know. I do kind of want to get rid of the spitter, though. All right, we'll go for the spitter. Yeah, there we go. He's out the way. Now these two webbers. All right, last time one hit a critical, so whatever. But on the whole, they're nobodies. I'm going to use this opportunity just to get a heal on the second. I think it's Dunsk. Is that right? I think that's who it is. Webby. There you go. One damage. Ooh, wow. That really hurt. Uh, in the meantime, how about this? I should have actually attacked the second one because the second one hadn't attacked yet. But it doesn't matter because he's going to die now, especially when he gets bled. Yeah, okay, so he's fouled. There we go. Good times. Nice and easy. Uh, what do we got here? Critical stone. One plus critical, minus one speed. Hmm. Well, there is an argument to be had about something like that if your guy consistently is going last. Hmm. I don't think I'm actually going to use it. I'm not going to throw it away just yet, though. Criticals are important, but it's only one. Yeah, you know what? Fuck that. I'd rather have the speed. I'd rather hit you before you hit me than do critical damage, if you know what I mean. I mean, well, that's, that's not entirely true, but in, in most cases, you'd rather, you'd rather, I think, hit the person first and take your chances rather than increase your chance of hitting them by 1% more of a critical. So I think that's the better route. We'll head up here. And then we'll head to this treasure chest room. So far, we do not know where this mound of inchoate flesh is. Any of these two, which one's better? 40% for lank top. What about you? 30%. Okay, I very much doubt anyone's going to be better than that. No, 20% you? No, nah, it would have shocked me if you were <laughs> higher, but there we go. But even with your 40%, you still get hit. Well, there's only three damage, so it's not too bad. Uh, okay, cool. That was a resist. I'm not really sure what you were resisting. Uh, this time I'm not going to raise the light. Let's just see who we're fighting, because it might just be spiders again. Okay, no, it's not. This is something I definitely want to raise the torchlight for. Um, there we go. They've not got loads of health, but they are a little bit annoying, and they're quite resistant to bleed, and they can blight you and shit like that. So I'm not really sure. Maybe Grape Shot Blast would be the best way to go on them. Two Grape Shot Blasts should get rid of all three of them. Yeah, I think that is the best move. Okay. Decent. Munch. Don't get blighted. Yep, well done, resist. You munch. That's all right. Two damage. No, but he has been blighted. It's only one damage, though. We can look at them spreading the love around. All attacking their own a, a different person. All right, Grape Shot Blast. Probably won't kill all three of them, which is unfortunate. But I feel good about killing the back two. There we go. All right, the front one survived. 
And it would be nice to maybe stun Piggy Boy, because I don't want him raising my stress. Considering, you know, some of our people are fairly stressed. You say the least. Your skin burns, don't worry. We'll go to the doctors about that. You'll sort that out. Um, again, yeah, I don't really want this stress being raised, so let's hit him. Oh, bye-bye. Well done, man. Man at arms is so slowly becoming my favourite class, man. He's a beast. Uh, and you just kill him. There we go. I think this is the best run of fights I've ever had. I've just like, boom, 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 get rid of, get rid of, get rid of. I quite like this party composition, especially for the Warrens. I mean, that last fight wasn't the easiest for them in terms of bleeds, but Grape Shot Blast working quite well when you get to fight pussy enemies, that's for sure. Um, now, we'll, we'll take all of this, that's fine. Uh, we will use our first key. What did we get? Uh, okay, it's all fine. And uh, we shall head west. Go west. Uh, okay. We'll use a shovel. Onwards. Ooh, another torch. Yeah, I was going to touch it, man. Relax, Dunsk. The Queens. The Queens. Whatever your fucking name is. D. I'm just going to call him D. There we go. Most unpronounceable names in history. All right, D. Okay, these guys again. Last time we surprised them, which made life a lot easier. Uh, no such luck this time. But, um... Should we get a healing? No, let's just uh, stun him. Don't want him mass whipping us. Oh, really? You're going to resist it? You bloody bastard. All right, take that. And take a bleed as well. Yeah, that's more like it. Free damage from the bleed. Here comes the whips. Don't get bled. Oh, man, he bled three of us. How bad is it? That's only one damage. So that's not too bad. Um... Yeah, I'm kind of in the mindset to just beat on this guy as badly as we can. You can't really finish him off, so let's just beat on him. Ten. Should be able to finish him off when D attacks him. Yeah, D should... Uh, D should... D oh, really? Is that it, D? You're going to bleed him at least. Thank God it's just about enough. All right, missed everyone else. Managed to hit old uh, man-at-arms with a critical, which is quite annoying, but hey-ho. And she's been bled again. Okay, so she's taking a bit of damage. Annoyances. Stop with your blanket fire, you arsewipe. And this guy's dead. So, I don't really want to attack him. I'll attack you. Is that it? Five? Because he's dead as soon as he takes his next go. All this bleeding is really annoying. We'll use a judgment, though, because it heals her a bit and she needs it. Oh, a critical. Excellent. That's good times. And when you die, you'll be at the front and then we'll see some rush shots. And I don't really give two hoots about rush shots. Bye-bye. Come on. Come up to the front, buddy. Let's just pound him. Eights. Man at arms when he's fully beefed up is going to be an absolute animal. There we go. Wish I'd brought some bandages. Ah, uh, let's just use that. We'll take the rest. Always forget what to do here. And I know the chap uh, is going to moan at me in the comment section saying, You fucking moron! Told you a million times! Yeah, well, if I didn't abuse cocaine so much, maybe I'd remember things in the future. But uh, let's go to the sacrificial stone. What about if I put some uh, restored purity? No, that didn't do anything. All right, good times. Oh, excellent. Good. I'm glad that you got rid of that clumsy quirk, because that was like minus five to accuracy or something like that, or to dodge one of the two. Cool. I'm glad that happened to Man at Arms, since he's the, he's the best. Even his name is cool. I think I said when I first, in the first episode about the uh, Friends in Fury up there, I was like, Man at Arms? This makes you think of He-Man. She just needs a Tash instead of a goatee. Yeah, I was going to have a look, Man at Arms. Calm down. This pack has already been looted, see? Probably by someone else who was as enthusiastic as you. All right, so we're out of shovels. I'm not particularly happy about that. We've quite a lot of the uh, dungeon still to go. And we haven't really had a scout ahead to know where... Um, where this beast might be. Oh, well, there it is. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, that's a massive... What the hell? Will you, like, fight each bit or something like that? Right, this isn't good because we've got some people who... Uh, not on an awful lot of health, shall we say. Not massive health. All right. Each of these has got 100? Fucking hell. All right, this could be um, disastrous. But anyway, let's start with this. Done no damage. That's good. Do we have to get through its protection points first or something like that? And we get blighted? How bad? Alright, well I did think the sonorous prophet was a pile of piss. This guy might be a little bit trickier. Uh, how do we hurt it? Or at least we bled it, for whatever that's worth. 
All right, this could be a, a massive disaster as far as I'm concerned. Uh, maybe it's time to use some uh, retribution. Not really sure who I'm meant to be attacking now. Am I meant to, like, is it him? Like, how do I hurt these guys? Do I need to do, like, more than 10 damage? Like, is that what the protection means? He didn't even bleed it. Oh, he's taking some damage. I'm, I'm confused as to how to actually hurt this, uh, this hunking mile of par in the fresh. What's going on? What have they done? Are they, like, healing each other? I'm confused! Alright, maybe I really... Is he having a stroke? Maybe I should have read up about this guy before I fought him. Did that just come out of his ass? So it looked like... Alright. Uh, yeah, what do we do? Do we have to hit the one at the back? He's got no protection. I don't think there's any way I can hit the one at the back. Not with um, not with him anyway, so... You might as well fire out your retribution again. Well, you did some damage. Try and get them to come at you. Yeah, he like gives him a stroke. That's how he heals him. That's kind of interesting. Uh, you pistol shot the one at the back. There we go. So it's only the one at the back that we can hit. All right, we're gonna have to uh, have to rejig who I take on. Oh fucking hell, she's almost dead. Uh, heal yourself, lady. Um, yeah. All right, there's ways around. No, you know what? I need people like like crusaders with holy lance. Or oh, what the hell have they turned into now? Some sort of combs. And they've all got protection again. This is annoying me. <laughs> um, well, we'll keep doing shit to him, I suppose. He resisted the bleed because he's an arsehole. Uh, what about if I just grape shot blast him? There you go, take that. Didn't really do anything. Bone Zephyr. Well, that's not too bad. Good thing. Oh, man, that's annoying. He's one of the only two people that can attack anything at the back. Oh, well, he's the... Oh, there we go. That was a good little... <laughs> Come at me. Shut up, man. Relax. Uh, so we are actually doing some damage to it. Just uh, not really enough. <laughs> Alright, just keep pounding. Keep on pounding. Oh, come on, man. I need to heal other people. Are you fucking going to be off your, your shit? Heal yourself. At least she's healing herself fairly well. Okay, that's annoying. Um, and stunned as well? Oh... All right, they've come back into this form where I think I can attack them. Oh, I can attack the front one now as well. All right, I kind of worked out what's going on to a certain degree. Actually, I think I can attack any of them now. All right, is he bleeding? How much health have you got? Five. He's got six and he's taken, what, two bleed damage? You're not bleeding anymore. All right, okay, so we probably need to heal him. Fives, there we go, you take that. Uh, how long are these guys going to be stunned for? Like, they're never going to come back. Stop healing yourselves, man! Takes ages to do fucking damage to you. All right. Oh, for fuck's sake. At the very of All right. I think we're. I think we should just run away. I didn't really have the tools for the job. I can't. Oh no! Hold on. I can hit him at the front. There's no way we're going to be able to do enough damage to fucking weaken these pricks. Maybe I could do a retribution to try and protect him. Oh, well, if I could guard ally. They come at him, bro. Guard. I've never actually seen what guard does, so I suppose we'll find out. Uh, undulate. Ooh, okay, all right. Yeah, let's get out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Moors of life. Oh, well, at least they're missing now. I mean, going into the fight with not a lot of health wasn't great. How do I fucking get out of here? Yeah, let's just retreat. There's no point. Can we not? Alright, we're going to have to uh, do a little moonwalk all the way back. Uh, we're going to have to heal up. We'll have one more go at it, though. We just have to retreat from the fight. You know, at the end of the world. Go on, head in there. Let's get the campfire out. Yeah, we'll be alright. There we go. Big boy healing. Alright. Do, 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 do. Uh, 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 uh. I don't think there's too many religious people here, to be honest. Apart from you. <laughs> but it only costs two, so you might as well have a go at it. 
Oh, right, is it one companion? Sorry, okay. For some reason I thought it was, um... I thought it was, uh, like, the party. Oh, well, there we go. He needed his healing, his stress reduced anyway. You can get some of that. Alright, we'll leave that alone for the time being. Heal 20%, you. There we go. I kind of wouldn't mind using that, but we're not going to. Lower some of that stress. That wouldn't be bad to use either, but we've got other shit we need to do, unfortunately. Keep reducing your stress. Wound care on you. Oh, wow, excellent. Okay, and is that it? It is it. Let's see if we get surprised. Wow, I didn't get surprised. I think that's like the first time in like about 20 campfires that I haven't actually been surprised. All right, we're heading back. We ain't finished with you yet. You inchoate flesh. Bastard. Fuck you up. All right. What are you doing? Stop that! Okay, that's annoying me. At least he resisted getting bled or anything like that. Quite nicely that some of the ones near the front are um, available to hit. Like him. So let's pound on you first. Yeah, there we go. 11 damage. Good times. Don't stun her! Fuck's sake, is that like a guaranteed stun? It's really frustrating if it is. Six, get bled. Yeah, okay, now we know what we're doing. Bleed it again. Yeah. All right. Now we're coming at them. There we go, wake up. We need some healing, though. Stop doing this. It gives me a headache when they do these things. What do we do now when they're all like this? Do we just, like, pray? At least you resisted. Oh, come on, man. Don't take the piss. Because that's what you're doing. Really? I swear he's doing more damage this time than he was before. Oh, really? Shit. Blank top. Could be the end. Ooh, could be the end. And everyone's taking protection, are they? What's he meant to do if everyone's taking protection? It's like a piss take thing. Is this like where you need a party full of healers? Like a party full of people who can heal because then they can do like some healing as well whilst these guys aren't doing anything. Or whilst they won't let you attack. That's what it seems to me like is the idea. Which if I knew that, you know, things would have been different. But, <laughs> but they're not. Um, I don't really know what to do. Stab it! I know it doesn't do anything. but what, Oh, it did bleed it, though. That's kind of good. Oh, he's still alive! Um, there's nothing you can do here, so you might as well get a bit of a, uh, you know what, you might as well defend him. That seems like the smartest thing to do. Uh, you, come on, get some more bleed on this. Bleed it at least. Yeah, alright, 10 damage, that's good. And we'll have to get you off Death's Door. Unfortunately, we're going to have a bunch of people on Death's Door in a second. When they start attacking again. Ah, it's turning into its little vein thing to start pumping stroke power into other stuff. Sanguine stroke, there we go. Healed for five, but it is taking like ten damage per round. Now, don't do anything. Ba ah, you bastard. And she's been blighted as well. Uh, that means by the time she gets to attack again, she might be killed by the blight. Which would be a disaster, but... Oh, well. I don't really think there's much I can do about that. Kill! Twelve. That was quite a nice hit. Ooh! Oh, I'm blighted again. Oh, wow. She's in a lot of trouble. Oh, that's it. Well done. They tried to attack him, but he went, no. No attacking. And uh, bleed it some more. Only five damage, but did you bleed it? Yeah, you did. All right, good. Oh, she's still alive. Unbelievable. Heal six. You needed that big six heal as well. All right, okay. What? How would you get stunned? Uh, okay, at least we've still got someone who we can attack. Stop healing yourself. You're annoying me. And don't do a lot of damage. Do these guys ever miss? Ah, uh, I swear they never miss. Unmissable. You're unmissable. Um, hit, there we go, pound. Yeah, keep taking the bleed damage. Oh man, that was a big boy hit. We almost killed it, what? It's down to like 29 health. Oh, we've got like two people on death's door. Don't die. We can survive this. We can make it. Hit it. Bleed it. Yeah. Passed. That's it. 
Come on, bleed it some more. Bleed again. Yeah, okay. Wow, oh, the bleed, a lot of it's on. Oh, no, there's two lots. Don't die. You're not on death's door just yet. Oh, shit. Who do I want to heal out of these two? I think you, because you're the higher level guy. Five. All right, come on. The grave can wait. Absolutely, the grave can wait. You bastards. Only the back one I can attack now. Stop heat. Oh, man, an eight as well. That's annoying. Ah, but at least we get our... Come on, hit it. Sevens. That's pretty good. What's it down to now? Ooh, she's on death's door as well. But it is her go, which is good. And I've got to heal the healer. Because if she dies, then there's no one else healing. So, sorry of a... Uh, who is it? D? Sorry, D. But that's the way it breaks sometimes. 18 health. And they're taking more damage. Come on. Don't stun him. Yes! Oh, man. Shit, you can't attack. All right. Well, uh, defend him. A bit of a defender on him. Don't stun her. Yes, that's it. Resist. We're resisting. You can shoot the one at the back. Oh, man. Only three damage. Come on. Don't get stunned. Come on. Resist. Shit. Uh, come on. Give me a go first. Oh, how much health has it got? One. He's on death's door. Don't let everyone have a go. This is going to fuck me up. Oh. Let me have a go. I can finish it off. Or at least let it... Uh, Masochistic, that's fine. That's fine. Just let me finish the fucker off. Oh, I can't believe you're healing, you bastard. Oh, seven, this could be it. Six and a bleed. It's dead. Yes, it's dead. Yes. I was, I was so scared there for a second that only like one bit of it was going to die. And it's going to be like, yeah, all right, you killed one bit. Now fight the rest. It's like, ah, yes. Well done, boys. I was a little bit lucky with some of those death doors, but fuck luck. Fuck luck. It cheats. All right. Good stuff. Super happy about that. Yeah. Uh, what's this? I don't really care too much about that. Um, all right. We could leave. <laughs> um, do I want to push my luck? I do have a lot of food. Some people are fairly stressed. Um, I don't know. Let's, uh... Alright, that leaves me with four bits of food. Maybe I can continue until we need to eat again. Or until we get a whooping. I can always run away. So, let's see. Yeah, I was going to touch it, you fucking weirdo. Thank you. I will burn it straight away. As the light gains purchase, Look at this. Are Running. Oh shit, that's probably a bad fight for us as well. Well, I've always got the option to retreat. Yeah, alright. Hit him. Fuck him up. That's a good bleed. Do the same thing. Seven. Get a bleed. Yeah, okay. Miss. That's not missing. In fact, that's the opposite. All right. Heal you. All right, six. Can live with that. Shank. Lamb shank. Ah, he resisted any kind of other shenanigans though, didn't he? All right, we will crush you. I think that's him dead. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I thought as much. Bye. Okay, now we need to get rid of him as quickly as possible. Uh, yep. Oh, I didn't need that. Did not. Did not. Did not need that. And you know what? I think I'm going to do a bit of retribution. I don't want him lamb shanking anyone. Come on. Fight me. Uh, but in the meantime, heal. <laughs> there you go. Have a bit of heal. Uh, and, uh, oh, actually, he's dead. Bye. Good times. All right. What are you going to do? Rush shot? All right. He actually hit, but, you know, free damage or whatever. I feel like prolonging your life, to be honest. Miss. Miss. Ah, uh, don't bleed him, though. I should just hit him with the other. Ah, good. Well done. So I kind of want to get another healing. Really? You hit him with all these rush shots? You cheeky bastard. Ah, uh, give him a wicked... Uh, <laughs> what's got the best chance of missing? I suppose I could just skip a turn, but I don't really want to do that, so... Oh, well, he missed anyway. Good times. You, um... 
And we can uh, guard. Do a bit of that, and that should give me another another heal. Yeah, good. Bust it out on you. Ooh, hey, right. good times. All right, and now finish him off. Oh, really? Ah, well, he got bled, so he's dead. Uh, 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 cut him up. All right, good times. Look at that, marching on. Great heroes of yore, these guys, that's for sure. Uh, next room. Next room. Remember, we can run away. And, uh, woo, uh, ah, we surprised them. Excellent. Good start. Aha, our first catch of the day. Um, let's pound on you. 14, wow. Bye. Wasn't actually expecting a one hit kill there, but I'll take it. Do a 10 and bleed him, and it's uh, game over for this prick. A 6, though, that's not really a 10, is it? But, it's alright. Uh, get a heat. Oh, no. Get a healing. There we go. An 8 on you. Good, good. Hmm. I want to do a grape shot blast. I think I might do a grape shot blast. Problem is, it's only 2 damage, so I kind of need to do 4. Well, I should do 4. Alright. That's five. Excellent. Okay, so he's out the question, out of the game, and these two uh, bleed the drummer boy. Pig face. Ah, oh, he resisted, did he? All right. What are you trying to stress out for? You want her to have a heart attack? I know your game. Uh, but we're not going to be sticking around long enough for that to happen. You haven't attacked yet, have you, drummer boy? So let's get rid of you. Bye-bye. You'll be dead. Yep, there we go. And that leaves us with Cripple Pig. Cripsy, as I like to call him. Oh, shit. Wrong button. Didn't mean to do that. But never mind. What? Did she heal herself though a little bit? It seems like it. Um, heal him. Five's very nice. Actually, I could have finished off Cripple Pig, and that might have been a better move. But it's not coming back to haunt me. So bye. All right, look at this marching on, eh? Uh, 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 I don't really care too much for that, so we'll get rid of that. Take that. We'll use our final key here. What we got? Ooh, wow. Free Onyx. That's pretty good. Do we need cash? What's this again? Fuck that as well. Free up some more space. Remember, by the next time we have to eat, we will have to leave pretty much straight after. Because otherwise we'll starve. We've only got enough food. Well, there we go. I suppose we can finish off this corridor. There's no harm in that. But we will starve if we stick around any longer. So, uh, oh, nice. 500 gold. Shut up, woman. Stop fucking... Getting antsy. I will do this room as well. Fight! No fight. Okay. There are fights through here. There is a treasure chest room. So I'm just worried if we get asked to eat again, then we'll starve. So I'm going to call it quits here. But a very good episode. What? We um, fought like we weren't going to beat the fucking mound of flesh. And then we came back and beat it. Didn't have anyone dying. And even continued for a few more rooms. Being like, yeah, that's how hard we are. So good times. I'm very pleased with that. Kill the inchoate flesh. Yeah, well, it's dead. It's dead. Although it's hard to tell that it's dead. Not gonna lie. You know, when you're a big mound of flesh, who knows? Maybe you're not dead. I think we doubled our money. I think we only had like 13,000 left. That's quite a nice haul. Um, what's this jazz? Occultist stun skill, debuff skill. That's actually not bad. I mean, virtues, you hardly ever get them anyway. They're nice when you do get them instead of a, an affliction, but, you know, that's a once in a while kind of thing, whereas, like, stun chance, debuff, um, you know, criticals, they're like a, an every encounter kind of thing, so that's pretty good. As for this jazz, mm, all right. All right, what we get here? Probably nothing good. Okay. Minus, wow, okay, that's not good. Um, that's all right. What about you? Natural eye. Okay, that's good, considering you do use a lot of ranged attacks. Good stuff, Langtop. And Dunsk. Wheel Tactician. Good, because you're probably going to go and fight, I think it's like the eight-pound brawler or something like that. Not right next, but, you know, considering you're still, like, low enough level to go and fight. So it'd be kind of handy to send you there, and you need to remove that masochism. All right, superb. Do-do-do-do-do-do. All right, first things first, let's head to the sanitarium, which is completely beefed up, and we must, uh, no, we must not do that. That's not what I wanted to do. What I wanted to do was remove her strep, no, not there either. Although saying that, we do need another occultist, don't we? 
Valognas. Valognas, Slayer the Beast. Mm, pretty good. Fascinated with corpses. Alright. And Lyman, hard noggin. Um. <laughs> Alright. I think it is going to be Valo, uh, Valognas. Valognas. He's pretty good, actually. I like Valognas, so come on. Join us, Valognas. We do need another low level healer. Especially considering this one's out of the game for a while. Well, until she, like, calms down and, you know, stops being crazy. I'll have a drink, that'll cheer you up. Uh, who else? Blau actually ended up with less stress than he went in there with, which is pretty impressive. Uh, why haven't you actually healed your stress? We can do that. Good times. That's pretty much it for that. Blau, uh, blew it, rather, whatever his name is, does need to um, have a, a nasty little quirk removed. I didn't particularly... Uh, yeah, I wasn't a big fan of that. You fight humans in almost every dungeon. Not every encounter, obviously, but I don't really want his stress being raised more by that, so we'll get rid of that. And uh, I think we're going to keep it. Uh, we're going to call it quits, but let's just have a little look-see what we're going to do next. In theory, in theory, we could go and fight uh, the Fulminating Prophet, but I think we're not going to. I think I'm actually going to go and do another Warren's run with the team that I was hoping was going to be able to fight. Um, the Mound of Flesh or whatever the fuck it was. So we'll do that. Then I'll probably on the following episode, we'll go and fight the uh, Brigand 8-pounder, which sounds like a burger. But yeah, we'll go and fight him probably with the same team that we just had there. Or at least something... Oh, well, it's not going to be the same team, actually, because Langtop can't go on it. So we're going to have to go and like find someone else. Um, and that's a shame as well. <laughs> I suppose we do have Ormond who can come back. I'm not super excited about that, I have to say. Oh, no, we'll think about that. Let's not make promises. But, yeah, next time I think we are going to go on this long veteran because we need some money, you know? And long veterans are a good way to get money. But until then, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed me beating up the Inchoate Beast, please hit the like button, leave your comments. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye.